There can be no mistaking it. The Emperor is on this moon. Revan is here as well. And another presence, if you wish to believe the Grand Master. The other presence, it's unclear. The dark side permeates everything here. Saturates it. I've been to Oricon. This is another level entirely. Oricon was affected by the Dread Masters. Even their combined power was insignificant compared to the Emperor. The Order of Revend is garrisoned inside an old Masasi temple. That is where the dark side is most prevalent. We carved out an area as close to the temple as we could. The high concentrations of Masasi in these parts made it difficult. It didn't help that you knew about the Masasi, but didn't bother to give a heads up to our recon teams. This is no time for infighting or deception. The stakes are far too high. Agreed. We cannot let emotion cloud our judgment. More easily said than done for some, I suppose. While Darthmar and I have reached an accord, many of those under our command obviously don't share our sense of commitment. If you were to assist in shoring up our position, it would serve as an example to the rest. We can be pragmatic if we choose to. Do what you do so well out there. I'll remain in touch. Lana here. I have an opportunity for us if you're interested. Go ahead. There's a redundant monitoring subsystem in the equipment you're installing. You could activate the subsystem, setting it to track Republic chatter and movements. Sneaky. I like it. Okay, I'll walk you through the steps. We've got a much better picture now of what's between us and the temple. First thing's the Masasi. We knew we'd be facing a lot, but now we know it's a lot, a lot. There can be no reasoning or bargaining with the Masasi. Once we encroach upon their territory, they will attack. That was the first thing. The best of the Imperial Guard are trained in special facilities, honed to physical perfection and instilled with unwavering loyalty. We found one such facility between us and the temple. The Emperor must have had it constructed in secret. And there are life forms inside. Human. Whether it's Revenites or the Emperor's Guard, they won't be looking to help us. Bringing the Willful in line is one of my specialities. Leave them to me. I will not condone what you're suggesting. And what do you think your agent does in the Republic's name? That location is of great strategic value. Make clear to its inhabitants, whomever they are, that the facility is ours now. They're ruining everything! I see it! We see! But they don't see! They don't even have eyes! We're all that's left! We have to flush the others from this place! Only then can we wake the starving Emperor and grant him sustenance! Identify yourselves. Commandant Ivan, Imperial Guard, we serve the Emperor, and you? You're not one of them. You're meaningless, meaningless. Go away, go! The Emperor wants to destroy all life, yours included. You know that, right? We are food. All life was born to be his food, the glorious honor. You can't stop it! We won't let you! The Emperor must feed the Emperor. They were Imperial Guards after all. Yes. The support team says their Commandant's a raving madman. We'll want to question him. Insane or not, he'll be of use to us. He will be fed! He will be! Fed! Silence! <laughs> he's raving mad, but he still has information we need to breach the temple and prevent the Emperor's return. I would like to interview him personally. Someone in his state must be handled delicately. Time is of the essence. 
A more hands-on approach is required. Yes. Niceties are at best a luxury. Take him to my chambers. I won't forget this, Mar. No, I wouldn't expect you to. What's the word? The word? How about unsettling? According to Ivan, there's a device inside the temple they'd hoped to use to bring the Emperor back. It's a weapon designed to eradicate all living things on the moon, save for those safely inside the temple. Oh, I should like to see that. Just imagine. D4, button it. The device appears to be Sith in origin. That's how the Emperor knew about it, why he chose to retreat to Yavin 4. Ivan's team was going to activate the device. Use the loss of life to restore the Emperor. Yes, and now Revan plans to use it for the same purpose. If we can't stop him, we're all dead. <laughs> Then let's get moving. I've included us in on a series of complex locks that will get us access to the temple. They're our next objective. You'll be wading into Masasi territory. Be fearless. It's time. You've finally arrived. Revan? But... you're alive. Leading the Revanites. The brooding monster inside those temple walls. He is not Revan. He is an abomination. His obsession, his arrogance, this angry crusade. It's all blinded him to the truth. The many lives he'll sacrifice to revive the Emperor will be nothing compared to what will follow. It's within your power to stop the abomination. But you won't be able to do it alone. May the Force be with you. Jedi and I, we both felt it, a ripple in the Force. You had a visitor, a manifestation. It appeared to be Revan. He claims to be on our side, and that the one we've been chasing isn't him after all. That all remains to be seen. And for now, it's irrelevant. All that matters is that we stop the Revanites. He didn't seem to think I could do it on my own. All told, the Revanites may be the fiercest adversaries we've ever faced, and this temporary alliance with the Republic is unstable at best. We must gather our forces. We must endure. The fate of not only the Empire, but the galaxy itself depends on it. Finally, there can be trust between us, and not a moment too soon. As we speak, our forces are working with the Republic to end the Revanite threat and take the temple. In spite of our obvious differences, and the fact we're at war, you were able to inspire a sort of cooperation I never imagined possible. Credit where it's due. You succeeded where Darth Mar and I failed. But we aren't finished yet. 
There is one element even our combined militaries will be unable to stop. Revan. Given his failure, he'll try to escape, to regroup. That cannot be allowed to happen. Consider it taken care of. Over. You've been at my heels far too long. I knew the Rishi plan was a long shot, but I had to try. I had to make it legitimate. I needed to lure you in. You were supposed to stay busy on Rishi long enough for me to finish here, but no! You couldn't do that, could you? Something you should understand when it comes to me. I don't dawdle. No, apparently not. I thought you more than anyone would comprehend just how much is at stake. I spent 300 years in lockstep with the Emperor's mind. I know what he's become, what he wants. The Emperor must be destroyed completely or he will return and consume every last living thing. There's no cost too great. If I have to snuff out every life on this world by hand to draw the Emperor out, then so be it! Have some common sense. The Emperor is a dark side incarnate. You wouldn't stand a chance. Of course. It's so obvious now. You have no idea what I am, what I've become. I was a dark lord of the Sith. I was the prodigal knight. I was powerful. But I was also weak. Not anymore. Now I'm pure, unburdened. I can finally have revenge on my jailer and save the galaxy doing it. I have the power, and you have nothing! You are wrong, Revan. He has powerful allies. Both Sith and Jedi. Allies from all corners of the galaxy. <laughs> Heard the fight to end all fights was going down. What sorry kind of Mando would I be if I missed out? You were saying? I don't care how many of you there are. I won't be denied my destiny. I am Revan! In defeating me, you let the real enemy linger on. You... you doomed the galaxy! Had you been successful, had you brought the Emperor back, you would have made the galaxy's destruction all but a certainty. He's right, you know. No, not you. You've been so blinded by your unchecked rage, your thirst for vengeance, that you could not see the truth. Now that your power has subsided, I may finally confront you. I only hope you will listen. You're both Revan. Yes, though neither of us is truly Revan. When I died, I had come to terms. I was ready to become one with the Force. But I soon realized that was only what part of me wanted. I cast you out! It was the only way to go on, to remain and finish what we started. You were holding me back! You think you're stronger this way, but you're not. Neither of us is. We're broken. We can't go on like this. I won't stop. Not until I conjure the Emperor. I have to face him. Ha 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 ha.
<laughs> you wanted my return. You did not need to destroy whole fleets or turn a living world barren for that. You only had to point the Empire and Republic to a shared adversary and let them do what they do naturally. Make war. The scores of dead have nourished me. I am awakened, and I bring with me death. The Emperor was not as strong as he might have been had Revan succeeded, but he was strong enough. No! He was supposed to face me. Too... You're too weak. You won't last. I... If we unite, what I am, won't it fade? Become diminished? Dark Lord, even I look in awe at your accelerated rise to power. You find value in restraint. In virtue, look at how well your way has served you. You make a fine example. I don't know if I'm ready. You have to be. We have to. You have found your center. I have, for the first time in a long time. Thank you for all you've done and for all you've shown me. Dark days lie ahead. The darkest days. If my error can't be undone, everyone will pay the price. Brace for the worst. So, I guess this is goodbye. I suppose so. It's been... an experience, Theron. Be well to yourself. Yeah. Yeah, you too, Lana. Try not to get into too much trouble, alright? That looks like you're finally getting rid of me. How's it feel? All things considered, we accomplished a lot working together. We did, didn't we? Yeah. Well... Seems weird to wish you good luck, so, uh, give my regards to the Dark Council. Darth Maul wishes to speak with me. Probably to remind me that we failed to keep the Emperor at bay. I'll see you soon. Next time you gotta fight that juicy, you know how to reach me. Good luck, you two. Going somewhere? We're headed back to Rishi! Chikaro, I thought you hated that place. <laughs> Chikaro wishes to whip those sorry Raiders Cove pirates into shape. He sees a real opportunity there. What about you? See any of this opportunity? Oh, my word, no. But it should be fun to watch, if nothing else. <coughs> what? Oh, you know I hate it there. That's why we're going, isn't it? Just to torture me. <coughs> Darth Ma, you wanted a word. We suffered many casualties upon the Emperor's return, though nothing insurmountable. Nothing compared to what we would have endured had the River Knights been successful. You are to be commended, of course. But it was Lana Benico's guile and intellect that made your participation at all possible. That is why I have placed Lana in charge of Sith intelligence. This isn't your decision alone, Ma. You'll have to wait for my opinion on the matter. I have discussed it with the rest of the Dark Council. No one else objected. I see. 
Give us a moment. Yes, my lord. The Empire grows ever stronger. The mining of Isotope 5 has bolstered our energy independence and we're free from concern over the threat of Revan and his followers. That's only part of the story. Yes. Our momentary truce is over. We remain at war with an emboldened Republic, and we still have countless enemies, both seen and unseen. Political deceit is to be expected, but we have had a full-blown traitor in our midst. Darth Arcus has fostered a new level of mistrust among us. You serve the Empire in your own way, Darth Imperius. But you are the only counselor I can trust to be truly in service to the Empire. That is kind of you to say, Darth Maul. It is not idle flattery, it is a fact, one that should give you pause. The Empire is whole once more. It grows and strengthens. Our obstacles are severe, but they are known to us. The galaxy is ours to grasp. Let us reach!